So we got you this color-coordinated bib just right for the senior, senior pastor. <laughs> and uh, it, it's in dainty white with, with a, a coat of many colors type ribbon on there. And it says on this, I'm 40, in dog years, I'm dead. <laughs> of haberdashery. This is a real thing. It says, genuine antique person on the top. On the front it says the same thing, but down here it says, been there, done that, and can't remember it. <laughs> I, I can well identify. <laughs> here you go. topics such as eschatology, soteriology, epistemology, and foodology. <laughs> but in all of his reference works on reformed and deformed theology, I'm sure he has never encountered such a weighty tome as this. And I would like, I'd like to read just a few examples of how deep this can be. It says, you might be a preacher if you can count on your phone ringing the minute you sit down to dinner. <laughs> You might be a preacher if you have a bumper sticker that says, if you love Jesus, don't honk, tithe. <laughs> <laughs> you might be a preacher if you're leading the church in the 21st century, but you don't know what you're preaching on this Sunday. <laughs> and last but not least, oops, wrong center. You might be a preacher if You've ever checked your fly and you stood up for the opening hymn. <laughs> and just a button for him. Lord, help me. I'm Lordy, Lordy, help me. I'm 40. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Many know you as their leader, counselor, and friend. You are these things to me as well, but more. You are my lover, my companion, my protector, provider, and the one who, even when I'm not asking for it, makes my life exciting. You love me with a love that most clearly exemplifies that of Christ. From the beginning, you have worked hard to make our marriage strong. Your love for me is like a mountain, unwavering, enduring. I never doubt it. 
I'm never prone to imagine what life would be like without it because I feel I can count on it as I count on the air that I breathe. This love extends beyond me to our children whose zeal for life, love of learning, strength of character, and willingness to try almost anything comes from your influence upon their lives. I observe all the time you spend with them, coaching them as their official coach or just in the backyard, always taking time to share with them the lessons of life, playing games with them, wrestling and chasing them through the house. Even though I'm always telling you to settle down, I really do enjoy it. Your firm but loving hand has guided them thus far through life and has made them both happy and secure and aware of their Heavenly Father's love for them. I am confident and can easily rest in your leadership. You are solid and steady. When life has become difficult, though you struggle like any man, you have always remained faithful, resolute, obedient, and strong. I have seen also that you are courageous. You do not shrink back from making difficult decisions, and you're not afraid to attempt big things for the God that you serve. I know that you make decisions wisely, that you hear me, hear others, and most importantly, hear God. You love the truth. Through your example, I'm learning to care for others, yet not to fear what they think, but rather to fear God. You are our diligent protector. I remember the evening you came after me in the lightning storm. I remember when you heard the splash by the pier that no one else heard and ran to pull Benjamin out of the water. I think of how many times you've risen in the middle of the night to check on a sound, and I know that you take seriously God's charge to care for our family. I trust you completely with my life, and I have no doubt that you would lay yours down for the sake of mine. You are a faithful provider. You've carried with diligence and resolve the responsibility of meeting our material needs, both in easy and the difficult times. You work hard, not only for the sake of our family, but more so for the sake of the kingdom. I've seen that your shoulders are broad, yet I only see a portion of the weight you truly carry. I feel you leave the bed in the middle of the night or in the early hours of the morning to pray for God's people. I often hear you utter a prayer for help, for the care of the church is always on your heart. I know that you're keenly aware of your weaknesses, and as you wrestle with them, you come again and again to the cross of Jesus, the grace and the power of God. Through the years, you have, you have allowed the hand of God to mold and shape you. No one could honor and respect you more than I. Yet, I feel my words fail me as I try to describe the man that you are. These are but feeble attempts to express what I have both seen and felt and what I know to be true as if I have lived my life with you. I am truly thankful for who you are. I am both blessed and honored to be your wife. Pump. 
doesn't even motivate you, he can really make you try. At a meet or a game, we can cheer him in the crowd, and we always know it's him. Cause he can holler really loud. Drives into the forest in that great big ugly truck. <laughs> strikes a fear within the heart of every doe and buck. <laughs> when it comes to shooting critters, there's no better to be found. He can track them like an engine. He can smell them like a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not just in the shoot, as he has taught us well. It's the redneck way you ramble. In the story that you tell. <laughs> Things you know, some things renew what 
we had to tell. Yet these are pale descriptions of the man we know so well. He's in our blood, he's in our heart, and with all the love we have, we, we say that we're so very proud that we, we can call him Dad. Amen. 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 <coughs> so. 